Right, okay, so we're gonna do a quick review on this uh, new glue that seems to be sweeping the modeling world at the moment. And it is this, this now, the bottles come in all Japanese and this is called a UV glue. Now it comes in this pitch black bottle because you really can't show it to any ultraviolet light whatsoever, such as the sun and so on. Now I usually use micro crystal, micro crystal clear blah, 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 to do uh, my cockpits and everything, which um, obviously is basically a PVA glue that dries clear put it on, smooch it off and, and, and let it dry and you have to leave it overnight, you know, before you can do anything really, before you can try and move the, because um, uh, it's PVA, it's easily knocked off so you can, you know, pry it off as well. If you make a cock up, you can take that off and get back in there and easy clean up with this stuff as well, because it's water based. Um, but this is the stuff that seems to be sweeping Japan at the moment. Um, this was kindly donated to me by uh, Matt, Matthew RS on the, on the site, so thank you very much, mate. It's really appreciated. Um, without you sending me some of this, I would be completely uh, oblivious to it until it starts to rear its head more often. Um, it's, as I said, the bottles are all in Japanese, so you can't really see what it is. But you also get this little uh, little uh, contraption with it as well, which is a UV light, which, believe it or not, is all you need. Um, but uh, I've done a cockpit with this stuff um, recently, which is my uh, Easter egg plane. And uh, I wanted to see uh, how uh, how it uh, works, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. But uh, if we switch to the overhead, what I wanted to do is just show you uh, how it kind of works on a piece of plastic. So it gives you an idea of um, really what what you can look to expect. So if, if you're in normal light like this, there's not a problem whatsoever. Okay, um, you don't have any problems whatsoever. It's in a black bottle to stop any sunlight getting in there. And it comes in like this silver uh, foil bag, which is resealable, which you can keep if you want. But I don't really keep it. Um, I didn't keep it. I didn't feel the need. But um, so what we've got is we've got this little tumble glue here. So we can go to the overhead. As you can see, uh, it's all in Japanese. There's, there's no English writing on there at all. I'm sure sooner rather than later that they will bring some out uh, that, that we can read as well. You also get this little thing, which is a UV light. So you can, I don't know if you can just pick that up there. There you go. Uh, now that is actually ultraviolet light, it's an UV LED in there so it will last a lifetime with a watch battery inside. Uh, this comes separately to this, you buy this, I think this is about £5 a bottle and then this is £7, something similar like that. Now obviously once you've got this you don't need it ever again so it's just a, a top up on the glue and everything. Now as I say I've used this already and I used it on this which is my egg plane and I used it on the cockpit and it stuck it together very very well indeed. Uh, unfortunately, the only thing I will say is, is you, if you can see there, there's a little gap there which it didn't fill particularly well. Now, if I'd have used UV glue, um, PVA glue, that, that gap will be filled. And obviously, I didn't see that gap until I, I started spraying it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that with a bit of PVA um, and, uh, you know, respray it again quickly. So, uh, but uh, as you can see, there is, it does leave a gap, but most of it all the way around is pretty good indeed. Um, so... Uh, we shall see how that turns out when I unmask it and everything. But uh, everyone that's used it swears by it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick uh, demonstration of what it looks like on a piece of plastic, just so you can see. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay, so there you go. So I'm just going to put a dollop of this glue right in the middle here, so you can see. There you go. Okay, now you can see it's quite... Uh, just a normal glue and um, if we just manipulate a little bit as you can see it's perfectly fine under normal light just looks like any normal glue just start this out a bit for you okay so you get an idea so it's very easy to manipulate and clean up and things like that now this this is obviously um, the UV light now all you do if you watch carefully you put the UV light on it and you should be able to see plastic stretch there as, it, as the glue's drying. So it gives a little demonstration and literally just pass it over and that's it. You can just see I've just passed it over a couple of times and that's it. Doesn't look any different apart from you can see where the plastic's walked where it's tightened a little bit um, and everything but if I prod it now it's rock solid. Okay it's a little soggy because it's a big lump but the top is totally, you see these bits here, totally hard. Um, and that is that's <laughs> that's it. It's very strange, as you can see. There's no can't move that at all. It is 
it's like it dries like a consistency of uh, it's a very rubber consistency to it. And you can make another pass if you think it's not dry enough. But obviously this is a bubble, so uh, it's going to be a little bit wet underneath. But there you go, that's rock solid now. Um, so that's really a really good glue. I mean, uh, that's instant. And now, literally, you can give it. I would say probably five minutes. Um, and uh, you can then manipulate that. You can then obviously you can uh, wipe the excess off with a with a cotton bud before you obviously use the UV light. Um, but uh, applying to the cockpit, literally you, you apply it like you would uh, your normal PVA, your micro crystal clear, or whatever you use, Gator glue or whatever. Um, and uh, then you wipe, you take it off with the excess off with a cotton bud, and then you go round it with that. And literally because it can see through the cockpit, you get a good seal all the way round. I think they're probably the reason why there's still a crack on the left on the little gap on the uh, egg plane there is probably my fault. I didn't put enough glue in there right at the front. But if you did, it would dry solid like that. And uh, and then uh, I haven't tried sanding it yet, I've got to say. So I would imagine it would be okay after a little while to cure. It would be fine to sand. But you can work with that straight away. It's not like the um, this stuff where you have to leave it a day before you can really touch that, that cockpit again if you don't want it to fall off or anything like that. But this stuff you can you know dries immediately with the uv light and, uh, and away you go so hopefully that's given you an idea of what this stuff works like um if you have seen it and you thought well shall i shan't i i definitely go and get it it's actually a godsend for uh for cockpits and things like that and because if you're only going to use it for cockpit, you can use it for anything really it will work for any instance with regards to any gluing that you need to do um, it just so happens that it's perfect for, for cockpit gluing instead of this stuff. So this stuff's kind of redundant for me now. This will just be done used to make windows and things like that. Uh, so that can go out of the situation completely. This is my go-to cockpit glue from now on. Um, as I said, I've used it once and thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to see what it looks like when I pull the masking tape off of that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Everyone else seems to have great success with it. But you can do anything if you want some clear welds or anything like that. I mean, it's going to work uh, and it should revolutionize a lot of way we fix models because you can fix this stuff and, you know, any joins that you're filling that you might have to do a little bit later on. Literally, you can fill a little gap, uh, cotton bud over it and then UV light and straight away you can, should be able to paint over that within the next five or ten minutes. So uh, really, really good. Thoroughly recommended. I think you can only get it from HLJ at the moment in Japan. Um, but I'm sure it won't be long before it works its way over. I don't know if you can get it on eBay. eBay. I haven't had a look, uh, but it, it will probably be on eBay as well. You can get it. But uh, but that's the UV glue. Uh, the make of it is Suji Borant Burrito. Um, so uh, again, not uh, not a brand I'm familiar with, but definitely worth a buy. Thanks a lot. Take care.